physical surveillance 24 hours a day. Physical surveillance everywhere I am, even in my apartment. There is nowhere I can go without being under surveillance. There is no exception. I mean, this person has it all down. My mental psyche and surveil and all that. Yep. Through remote neural monitoring. Totally illegal. And the NSA has a uh, docket out uh, saying that they do it. So it's not something that's hidden anymore. Resource Center, the National Center for Victims of Crime. Cyber stalking, yes, I got that too. Online harassment, cyber stalking, privacy rights, yep. Department of Justice, there's their PDF. Harassment and stalking have been around for a long time, but the blank to blame if someone repeatedly bothers you or follows you around is against the law and you can take action. I've downloaded on the phone that I'm on. Let me take a screenshot real quick. Remote nor monitoring how they spy on your thoughts. Government thought policing. The NSA remote nor monitoring. Hey, I know people that work for the NSA. At least my family does. I might even know someone that has some of the equipment. <sighs> Freedom of Thought Research. New human rights to protect mind hacking. Let me click it. New human rights to protect against mind hacking and brain data theft proposed. Wow. And this is 2017. from having their thoughts and brain information stolen, abused, or hacked have been propose, proposed by researchers.
Much of the technology has been developed for hospitals to diagnose or treat medical conditions, but some of the tools such as brainwave monitoring devices that allow people to play video games with their minds or simulators that calm or boost mental performance. But these are other advances in neural technology raise fresh threats to privacy and personal freedom according to human rights lawyer at the University of Zurich writing in Journal Life. 